Welcome everybody to Supreme Family Garden. And today, as always, we have a wonderful, wonderful video. First off, let me wish everybody a happy day, whichever day it may be that you're watching this video. And in today's video, what we are going to do is show each and every one of you how we make one of the best organic homemade fertilizers all right now over here this is inside of this Misi half yard tilt truck box wheelbarrow thingamajiggy there is rainwater and about 20 pounds of coffee grounds and some leaves okay since you guys did not see me add the coffee grounds I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now guys, you don't have to do this on this scale. Okay, we just have a lot, a lot of plants and before the winter comes, I'm just trying to give them one last feeding. And this is what we're gonna add. Lettuce. Jeez. <laughs> Here we have apple. Apple. No, I'm gonna throw this tomato out there. It'll grow somewhere. And here we have some more lettuce, cabbage, green onions, red cabbage. And this is approximately 11, almost 12 ounces, a little less than a pound. And we have some avocados. I'm not gonna put those in there because of the seed. I'm gonna throw that in there. Throw the seed out there. And... An onion. Bell pepper, I'll just throw it in there first because it's right there. Okay, all right, guys, come on over here. I try not to use things that have seeds, but as hard as times are getting now, if a tomato seed or anything germinates, I'll just up pot it. And I better not bring up tomatoes, but my wife, she'll get upset with me. But come on, guys, I got a lot of compost to show you. Normally, a lot of people don't like using the seeds, and I wouldn't either, but again, like I said a little bit ago, it doesn't really matter to me because I'll just grow it somewhere else, you know? So to me, it's a win-win. That's just my theory. And here's some, um, some almost two pounds of cantaloupe, pineapple, watermelon. bell pepper, squash. 90% of this stuff will not germinate. So guys, you really don't have to worry about it. Some of these things that people sometimes speak about on YouTube, it's regurgitated information. There's not many times that I've used uh, my own fertilizers to where I have plants reoccurring from the seeds that I use. It doesn't really happen like that can it happen yes but does it really happen no i got a lot 
lot of stuff here tonight, honey. Yes, we do. So you're gonna put all of that in the container? Uh, no. I'm gonna put a lot of it around other plants. And again, tell them where you get the the these from. Oh, I have a, a guy that lives on the next street. He's a produce manager. And what I do, I donate, like say 40 bucks a month to Petty Cash because technically they're not allowed to do this because there are some scoundrels out there who will actually take stuff and try to return it back to the store. So like back in the days, they used to give it to people, but then, you know, like say for example, you know, I need a little bit of money now. So I take things that someone has given me for free to another store and now I want to get money back or get something else and then the store goes under but he knows we're not those type of people so we we again it's called a blessing but yeah that's it you know go in and speak to someone and 70 percent of the time they'll give it to you and if you have animals also yeah that's right because we started doing this because we used to have pigs <laughs> you had pigs yep we had one pig named Lulu and Lulu was the fattest pig but my wife was soft on Lulu but she didn't want us to kill and eat Lulu for nothing like Lulu was like a part of the family yeah we had a pig and over here look at this is all let me see what's the weight on this and again, guys, these are like a pound, a little over a pound each. And look at the price, five bucks. Please, guys, grow your own food. Please, man, it's getting bad, man. I mean, bad, bad, bad. So you figure one, two, three, four, just this alone is four pounds of food. If I had to purchase this, that's 20 bucks. You figure I'd eat two, she'd eat one, and the kids would eat one. That's 20 bucks, man. That's a lot of money when we can all buy one pack of seeds for $2 and grow as much of it as we can. Plus, we know our family is eating healthy. And that's the key to this because if I had to guess what's going on now, they're, they're blinding a lot of us with wrappers and all of you. And it's taken away from doing this type of stuff because right now football game but Tampa Bay Buccaneers somebody playing but I'm out here to try to keep my family healthy I mean this is what we do for real regardless guys if I ever make videos trust and believe every day I'm in my yard it's just now I'm just gonna start filming everything you know what I mean because again this is who we are as people and like I also said in another video I think that's just me my deliberate rate of thinking that God gives gardeners anyone who grows I think God gives us favor you know if you think about something like there's one YouTube channel this guy's doing very very well a uh, few ladies sisters they're doing very well and all of them are from the garden they're not talking about anybody they're just growing crops and making chickens and you know whatever life Will we ever get views like the gossip channels? No, but as time goes on, God gives favor to who he wants. Always remember that. He gives favor to who he wants. And we, in our home, we honestly think that God gives us favor because of who we are as people. Prime example, I'm gonna go a little, little right with this video. If you guys turn the camera away, I guess see right out there where this is being cleared and out there by the road, there's excavating machines, okay? And we're about to build a tiny home. The guy was supposed to be here, will come back today. Uh, I guess his hydraulic pump or something went out, I don't know. And we're gonna bring you guys along, along with actually while we're doing it. So if there's anything that we can teach you guys or well, we can learn from you because we don't know everything. Um, you know, we're going to be having a video out. Let me get some more of this stuff out. Man. Like, look at this. 
Two dollars and forty-seven cents. But that's discounted too. That's usually like five something. Show sure enough. Yeah. How you know you've been buying expensive? No, food? but I've seen it. Oh, and you keep walking too. So now <laughs> if this helps your immune system. I'm gonna make sure I pour this. I feel like pouring it in me. But um, I'm gonna make sure I pour this in there, and it's like five more bottles. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. Now guys, what we did earlier this year is I grew a lot of this stuff back there, but I didn't make a video on it. Uh, like a lot of the peppers, some okras came up. Um, tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. Um, so, you know, the, just go into your local supermarket, man, and just be nice to the people and um, see what happens because all of this, again, this is a pound of okra. So if you use common, well, I'm not going to say common sense, that would be rude. But if you think about it, if you went out and bought the veggies, it's real. Again, it's real. It's real. It's not blends of a little bit of organic crap just to label it organic. It's not. Look at this green kale like a pound of tail right here and my plants are gonna eat all of this god i hope you watch because he knows none of this stuff's going to a landfill he's like my son's down there doing the work of the lord now broke farm i hope you're watching this now best fertilizer in town now since if you guys can't make this y'all call me and i give you a cup full one cup grow whatever you need one cup of this dice look at this dice tomatoes two dollars and 62 cents that's a sale price sale price I'm gonna stop showing tomatoes because then you're gonna get a flashback. All right, guys, yeah, now, but how many people are on my side about the tomatoes though? From the last they video. They just signed with you, baby. They didn't mean no. that. They didn't mean that because that thing was yes, growing they in the front did. of my house. No, they didn't. They said you planted it there. Might as well leave it. I didn't plant it. I ate a piece. And chucked it, like you said. Banana. Potassium. Plantain. It's a plantain. Same thing. Banana. No. No. Mm -mm. It doesn't have the same potassium. As yeah, but it's a plantain. Oh. Plantain, according to Americans, and plantains in Jamaican. Oh. How do you say it in Jamaican? Plantain. Oh. That's and you, it? Say, you say plantain. That's because I'm country. No, but that's a, I think that's how Americans say oh. plantain. I'm going to take some of this here. And I'm gonna throw it on my plants. Come on, y'all. See, like back here, I transplanted these. So some fella told me in another video how expensive these are, and I was throwing them away. So I went and redug them up, and I threw them. What is that? That would be called a squirrel. Honey. Oh. Speaking of squirrels. What's Miss, uh, what's her name, honey? Miss Hope Morrison. Now, Miss Hope, I'm going to show you something. Honey, come this way. So, Hello, I'm running from the smoke. Okay. You just said, Supreme, you know the varmints are going to come and eat it. Miss Hope, they, they won't come around here. You know why? Because I eat them. <laughs> and I think one day I had a coon. It's a tree over there where I got my nails up. And I think all of them saw their cousin hanging on that tree and me skinning him. So the squirrels don't come in my yard. It's one here because he knows I don't come back here. All right. So I can lay everything out because I want them to come. Okay. Wife say my lips are shapped. 
scoundrel. Come on. See him this whole, let, me, let me show you. This is for you, young lady. This is for you. And Miss Timmons. I hope you guys are doing all right. Times are getting hard. So when people sit here and tell you guys, oh my God, the meat is getting so expensive in the store. It sure is. So the cream has a trick. See my little cheese and crackers? I got some all out there. Heat them up. The next cold snap we get, I'll show you guys some of my catch. All right? See, we never gonna starve her around here, okay? Some of the things a lot of y'all people said that you would never eat, the way the times are getting, we're going to have a lot of coon, squirrel, I become deer. vegetarian. Me and the kids eat the rest of it. It makes us no never mind, baby. Made me lose my deliberated thinking. Coon. Coon, squirrel, rabbit. What else we got out here, baby? Possums. I don't eat possums. <laughs> yeah, and, and deer and fish. You guys might like it because squirrel, honest to God, it tastes like a sweet, sweet piece of chicken. Mm. Ooh, Jesus. Fry it real hard. Take you some peppers. Because I used to put hot sauce, but I don't do the hot sauce thing anymore. But ooh wee. Hey. Surprise God ain't called me on that one to say, to tell y'all that's some good eating right there now. It's the truth. Oh. This again, this is how serious this is getting. We just bought a few more citrus trees because we're about to put a house back here. So we're gonna plant. I was gonna resell them. I thought about it. But I said, nope, because normally when you plant your citrus trees and things like this, one year, hypothetically speaking, you have, you buy one citrus tree. There could be a couple years, your tree could be this big. It may not get fruit. But one out of the three, if you have the land to do it, plant multiple, okay? How close should I plant them, Supreme? I tried planting some trees in a hole. Two trees, one hole. And remember, they need sunlight. One tree was growing this way, the other tree was going this way, okay? What happens to the middle? If you can, just spread them apart at least six feet, eight feet, then just prune them up, make them look nice. Let me show you guys what we're gonna be planting and what we're gonna be feeding, because they're thirsty. That's a lot of compost in there, baby. Yeah. Prime example, guys, of how, Go in the store if you like sweet potatoes. Just one sweet potato in this crappy mound, something I was just back here doing. Damn it, it grew. I mean, darn it, it grew. It's as simple as that. If you don't start now, you guys are gonna starve. And I'm gonna be like that one joker when he said, this gonna be the wrong house for y'all to come and mess with. You don't wanna come to this house. You heard me, baby? Uh -huh. See my little pineapple, my little pumpkin things out here, y'all? That's your pumpkin patch, babe. That's a Charlie Brown pumpkin patch, babe. <laughs> and again, remind us in the comments, we have, we got donated, I think about, Jesus, how many seeds do you think in there, baby? Oh, I don't know. Take a guess. Who gives about everything else? Take a guess. I don't know, maybe over 200? I say about six, seven hundred. Yeah. Uh, Broke Farmer, uh, JG3. Um, who else, baby? Miss Carol. Oh, gonna send y'all some seeds. To pay for the shipping. I don't mind giving them to you. Don't look at me like that. Being nice, gas expensive, baby. They understand. If I'm gonna give them five, six packs of seeds for free, I give you gas money. And even if you don't want the seeds and you want to give a donation when we do the video to help those who do need them, because we do have a lot. Oh, baby, they thirsty too. Oh, we still have a few grapes. What, babe? Uh, right there. Y'all, it's almost November. We never have grapes this time of the year. God is trying to tell us something. I'm telling you now. Look at your nasty grapefruit. Drink. I don't know why you don't like grapefruit. You don't like no grapefruit. Grapefruit for women. What? Oh my, my granddaddy gosh. Was, my granddaddy Baby, was. they're going to eat you up in this comment. You say that again. It's true. No, it's not. My granddaddy said he never seen a man eat grapefruit in his life. Okay. 
But a man eat banana though. Now that's the fruit a man shouldn't eat. Why? Same reason he shouldn't eat a grapefruit. I don't see that, man. A granddad don't really smoke by that, baby. That's why I don't eat. Let me tell you, you could eat the grapefruit. I don't know if you ever had it like this, babe. Mm -hmm. And take the condensed milk. Now, it's not healthy at all. By no means is this healthy. Mm -hmm. The grapefruit is, but when you put the condensed milk in it and it's chilled, mm -hmm. oh my goodness. That's like a halfway healthy snack. Rather yeah. than eating your ice cream, you eat that. Oh, you had to compare that to ice cream. Yeah, it's a healthier snack. All right, y'all, I'm gonna just pour a little bit of this over the top. And feed my dried up tangerine tree. real dry baby. Mm -hmm. If she had a tongue, it'd be coming up out of the bucket. Now guys, watch how I pour this really slow. Look at that, man. I like your container. You like that, baby? Uh-huh. <laughs> and Miss Hope is a squirrel over there plundering in them bushes. You see him? No, but I hear him, baby. I do, too. Now, if you go back and get a few of his kin folks and come back, I'm going to go behind my seat. And I'm going to lay all three of them down. I'm just playing. <laughs> they might ban. They could ban you for saying, no, they can't. They don't ban all that hardcore rap stuff about killing each other. They sure only gonna worry about me killing a squirrel to feed you and them children. Ain't it, baby? <laughs> You're not feeding me a squirrel. <laughs> don't try and act um, uppity. I don't uh, On the camera squirrel. thing there. You be sucking your fingers eating my no. squirrel bones. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna show you what I also did with this okra, okay? store bought okra. Right here, there's a lot of, see that's an old okra one there, it's there, dying out now. There's a few, like right here, that's a baby okra plant. Right here, that's an okra. Again, just using this stuff. Come on, honey, it's one more big one I want to show I want to show honey do look at that y'all all store-bought stuff man see I take all of this and I put it right in that same contour bed this is about a, about a quarter of a pound isn't that pretty y'all look at it it's perfect too mm -hmm. see, squir it, babe. see squirrels won't come and get my stuff because they know I'm I, no, I was gonna say I had to bite my tongue on that one that big. Now right along in here is all things that we grew right out of the store. Oh, here, here, here. Look. Is that blueberries or strawberries or what? not blueberries? That's those, those would be called blackberries. Blackberries. No, it's some kind of berry. Yeah, these are all okras that we grew this year. And the pineapple plant. <laughs> Nothing special. I just threw it over there and it took hold but look at that now that they're over with you know you, again you can cut them up small pieces place it around your plant you guys save money and do what you need to do
It was another huge one, baby, because I saw an okra about the size of my foot. <laughs> oh, show you guys how organic we are now. This is the best smelling deodorant on the planet. I put that in the trash. Maybe I still want to find one of those tall okra plants to show them. Because I was proud of those jokes. Oh, right here. Uh huh. Ain't no okra, baby. What I thought see? it was in the back. No, that, no, that's a pepper plant. Baby. See that back here, yeah? Yeah. And these are all things that I used to throw back in here along the fence that actually grew. Right, look at this. Oh, you ain't gonna want to see this now. What is it? No, I, I um, I, uh, the bird was bothering something one day and one of them kids in the neighborhood <laughs> shot him. And then I had kind of made some feather bone and blood meal and stuff like that. I figured there ain't no sense of letting them just die and bang. I figured it's what the Lord would want me to do. You sure about that, man? Yeah. The people sell it. It's called feather meal and bone and blood meal. Mm. I just got mine for free. Come on, let me try to find that. Um... Oh, see, here y'all look at this. Watermelon. Again, even though it didn't oh, grow. Oh, there's a little baby. Sure enough. Uh, uh, not a baby. What it, uh, it's about to form into something. Yeah. That would be called a blossom, my love. That's what I, I can imagine. That you just couldn't get your deliberated thinking going, could you, huh? That's all right. That's why you got me. And again, any of you guys that live close by and you want some blackberries, I have a lot of them because I'm digging them all up because it's a hundred of them that way, 300 of them that way. And it's hard for me to weed whack around them and I hate doing it. And they're already at the barren stages. Now, if you don't want to dig them up, I sell them to you for a nominal fee. Okay, just let me know. Yeah, go another. What is that one? Hmm? Sweet potato? No, my love. That's called a Me? muscadine. Where my poles, oh, the grape all the way out here? The, my, I threw some poles when we were taking the fence down. Oh. And I laid on it. I think I can't find that. Um, oh, it's bothering me. Guess that'll, that'll be it. Anyway, guys, please, man, because things are getting bad. Uh, I, forgot, I forgot my delivery to thinking again. Grocery prices. What's the other word? What I'm trying to say? We're going to call it food. Though. Food prices are up like 15%. I don't study all of that stuff, but I know it's going to get bad. Okay. I was about to cut this video off, but I'm going to say something. I remember... We've been here, what, 10, 11 years, something like that, mm -hmm. give or take? Mm -hmm. And we've been gardening before we even moved here, and we had one acre, okay? And I used to watch all you guys' channels, and all of my friends used to laugh at me out here gardening. I've mentioned that in several videos. And now when you sit back and think of how God gave some people like he did Noah, he gave us an insight. So... It, it shows me, you know, Miss Cheryl, Led, um, New Orleans Gardner, Homestead, all of us, David the Good, Lion's Heart, everybody, man, everybody. Uh, what's the dude got a little bit more children than us? Grow Family Network. Grow Family got a bunch of children. Baby, you got to go him some stuff. Right? Grow Family, if you need some seeds, I'm going to send you three extra packs. Baby. Feed them good-looking babies you got over there. But anyway, it's like he gave us something inside of us to actually start doing this. I'm going to do it with or without YouTube. You understand? Some people do do it for money and they may get on here and tell a bunch of tales. We do this for real, for real. I mean, for real, for real. But anyway, um, 
please, please try and grow something. It's easy. Get some more. Start small. Yeah, start small and work your way up, man. And then it becomes a passion. Like, it, it's it's tranquil just being in your garden. It's like you and God and it, you become one. You understand? You, it becomes like a way of life. There you go. That's the toy, baby. That's a good one. I like that, baby. But that, that's all we're saying. We're going to cut this one short. Um, but tomorrow, hopefully, or even if they show up, or not but we are going to do um another video showing you guys our tiny home uh stay blessed go to your local stores the weather's changing in most of our areas a lot of their um summer plants are going to be on sale if you have a greenhouse now's the time to scurry on up purchase what you can and get ready to grow something next year keep the ones you love happy and healthy inside and out. May God bless each and every one of you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with all your kin people. Mm -hmm. Have a good kin one. people. Baby, you look nice in that shirt.